Welcome to Anti-Semitism Uncovered, a video series by ADL created to explain and combat the most common anti-Semitic myths. One of the most prominent and persistent stereotypes about Jews is that they are greedy and avaricious. They are seen both as relentless in the pursuit of wealth and also as stingy misers determined not to let any money slip from their grasp. These myths often imply that Jewish wealth is undeserved, that any wealth acquired by a Jew is from cheating. The truth is that Jews, like all other people in the United States and around the world, exist across a spectrum of socioeconomic status. Some are poor, some are wealthy. It's wrong to assume that any wealth accumulated by Jews signifies Jewish greed, rather than the results of disciplined hard work done. For centuries, dangerous conspiracies have circulated from varying political factions on Jewish control of the economy and economic institutions, perpetuating the idea that Jews are acquisitive, hungry for access to and control of money. Federal Reserve ain't no governmental operation. That's a family of rich Jewish people who print the money. The stereotype of Jewish greed took hold in the Middle Ages. In many European countries, Jews were denied citizenship, and with it the rights of holding a position in government, military, or certain professions, thus relegated by Christian leaders to collecting taxes and rent. This created conflict between Jews and Christians, and resulted in the development of stereotypes and characters such as Shylock, the greedy Jewish moneylender in Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice. An important part of the Jewish faith is the tradition of tzedakah. This is the spiritual idea of charity and giving, in which Jewish people will donate time, effort, and money to those in need. We must also remember, even intended compliments such as, Jews are good with money, or all Jews are well off, contribute to a dangerous stereotype. 